Winning Fodder, written by Lee Chun Hee, illustrated by Kim Poon Chung. Clang, clang. As he heard the cowbell ring, Byung Jun began pestering his dad. Dad, please sharpen the sickle. Moo! Let's go mow grass for you, big guy. Byung Jun brought his brown cow out of the barn. Hey, hurry up! Dong Su and Hyung Jin shouted. Byung Jun and his friends put the cattle on the grass under the hill and lie down on their backs. Look at the clam-shaped clouds. They look like net bags for fodder. Gomang Tae, do you want to hear the story about it? Said Byung Jun. Sure. Dong Su moved closer to Byung Jun. Go, go, da, go, da. Grandpa lived. Mang, mang, dung, mang, dung. He played around. Tay, Tay, Tay. He just died at the end. The end. What's that? It's not even funny. Dong Su pulled Byung Jun's nose. Ouch! Dong Su and Hyung Jin laughed out loud at Byung Jun's red nose. Byung Jun and his friends started cutting the fodder. Dong Su's sickle sounded chop chop. Hyung Jin's sickle sounded chop chop. And Byung Jun's sickle sounded chop. Chop! Byung Jun couldn't cut as fast as the others because he had a dull sickle. Enviously, he looked at Dong Su's bag full of fodder. Let's play winning fodder, said Hyung Jin. Oh, that sounds great! Dong Su shouted as he raised his arms towards the sky. The boys each took out a handful of fodder from their net bags, stacked them up together, and drew a line on the ground. Okay, ready? I'll start. Byung Jun threw his sickle to the line as hard as he could. Uh oh, it's stuck on the line. Out. The next player, Hyung Jin, took careful aim and threw his sickle. Yes, it's going over the line. No, your sickle fell over. Out! Shouted Byung Jun. Finally, Dong Su, the last player, shook his sickle and threw it. Oh, it's going over the line. Over the line. It's in. Yay, I did it. Dong Su got excited, jumping up and down. Do it again! Young Jun got angry. As the game continued, Young Jun, who was now at the bottom, hardly had any fodder left. So he took only a little bit of fodder and put it down. Dong Su teased Young Jun. You call that a handful? It's not even a half handful. Young Jun's hand is so big. But his handful is so little. Don't be so stingy. Fine. Whoever wins this time will get all of my fodder. Okay. Don't take those words back, Young Jun. Don't worry, I won't. This is the last game. Dong Su threw his sickle first. Yay! I made it. And Hyung Jin went next. It's over the line. No, it's stuck on the line. Hyung Jun and Hyung Jin began arguing. It's over the line for sure. Go closer and take a look. Hyung Jun ran to the line and pouted his lips. Pish! It's 
barely over the line. I'm going to throw much farther. It was Byungjun's turn now. He took a deep breath and threw his sickle with all his strength. Wow! Youngjin opened his eyes wide as he watched the sickle fly. Oh! 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 It's going over the line! Over the line! Ouch! It fell over! Youngjin shouted even before Dongsu finished talking. Byungjun grabbed his head with his hands and fell down. Dongsu's net bag was full, and he even got another bundle of fodder. Hyungjin was just able to fill up his net bag. Byungjun kicked around his empty net bag. Hey, Mr. Choi, do you want some of my fodder? Dongsu asked arrogantly. No, thanks. We'll play the game again tomorrow! It was getting dark and the boys headed toward where they had let loose their cows. Dong Su walked at the head and Hyung Jin followed. Byung Jun dragged along far behind. Moo! Moo! Yellow! I took the first place! Dong Su proudly told his cow as he hugged her. Hyung Jin, who came after Dong Su, cried out suddenly. Byung Jun! The guy's gone! What? Byung Jun was out of his mind, shouting, Big Eye! Big Eye! His friends ran after him. Clang! Clang! They could only hear the sound of a cowbell from Hyung Jin's black cow. Byung Jun, it's dark now. Let's come back and look for her tomorrow. No, I should find her now. Big Eye! We'll come early in the morning, okay? Let's go home now, come on. Dong Su pulled Byung Jun's hand. Byung Jun's mom was waiting for him in front of the house. Why are you so late, Byung Jun? Mom, I lost Big Eye. What? She's already at home. Really? Dong Su and Hyung Jin became wide eyed too. Moo! Moo! Byung Jun rushed to the barn and hugged Big Eye. <laughs> 